Hey, Trent Line about GTP Stratus. I want to talk a little bit about fab and change management. The age-old way where fabrication was all being managed inside of Revit through the spools and, and the database in Revit. But Stratus, we've, we've decoupled that by bringing a lot of that work into the cloud. Questions that pop up a lot are, hey, if I'm managing my fabrication in the cloud, how do I keep my detailers aligned and keep them with the same information and making sure that they're not going in and making changes to items and parts that are past a certain line in the sand, a process where maybe we've procured the material or we've started building something. How do I keep them from going in there and making a lot of changes to those items that we've already put money and labor into? Well, just because we've moved a lot of that work into the cloud to where more stakeholders in the company can perform that work or make it more transparent, doesn't mean that we don't have ways to also help control what's happening back in Revit. So something I wanted to to outline with you. So if, if I go into this package, very simple one I've set up here, I've got two assemblies right here. You'll see the first one is issued for fab. The second one is still in a status of coordinated. So maybe that's the line in the sand as a company that you've determined where you're, Hey, if, if this is just, if we're just saying it's coordinated, I can still let my detailers make changes to the model. We haven't really put any labor or uh, we haven't spent any money on material or labor on those pieces yet. But maybe issued for fab means maybe I've procured material. Money has been spent. There, there's work that's been performed. So now we've said when something gets to that point, we at least need a light bulb or a ding or something to, to get the conversation rolling. Where if somebody does want to make changes to those items, they're thinking, Okay, I may need to reach out to my project manager. We may need to have a discussion because it looks like something's happened here. So how do we do that? Stratus has the ability to map information back to Revit. Um, you know, from the admin settings, we can map certain things back into Revit through shared parameters. And one thing I'll highlight here is we're mapping that status back to a shared parameter in Revit called Stratus tracking status. Some things we can do in the model that may help us Here's, here's a view of just a 3D view of the overall parts that I've put in this model. But here I've created a 3D view that I've named Fab Has Started. And what's going on here, I've made a filter that I called Fab Has Started. And I've really just set some rules up that say, hey, this shared parameter stratus tracking status, I'm saying if it's blank, if it's modeled and if it's coordinated, like these three, the, the very one after coordinated was that issued for fabrication. So I'm saying these are the only possible entries in that shared parameter where I would want a detailer to still have free reign at making changes to those items. If it's not one of those three, I'm gonna make it visible in this view. And there's a couple things we can do with that. One, we've got this visible. And if I click in here, I can see status issued for fabrication and that allows me to do some things like maybe i can come into this view highlight these parts pin them down now if a detailer comes in here and says oh, i need to delete this part well pinned objects can't be deleted so maybe he's why can i not delete this part we go over here to the status ah all right issued for fab that gets the conversation rolling that kind of controls those changes but let's look how that actually comes back into Revit because a lot of people will publish, uh, but what they don't realize is we can run an import without running the full import publish sequence, which is much quicker. And detailers can actually get in the habit of doing this maybe early in the mornings or in the evenings when they're closing up shop to keep this model up to date so they have that latest and greatest information. So let's just come here and I'm gonna take this spool and actually go ahead and issue it for fab. So that's changed. Now both of these assemblies in this package are issued for fab. So back in Revit, I'll run this import. And when those statuses come back in, you'll see it's going to, it's going to bring that other spool up in this view I created because of the rules and filters that I've assigned. So finish the import. It's going to go ahead and sync the model after the import's done. And there it is. So now my fab has started view has added that other spool. And maybe I can just say, come in here, if I'd, uh, 
So maybe I can just go ahead and highlight all these guys and pin them again. And you can even make a Dynamo script that can go through and pin all items that meet those same rules, some different things. But that really helps our detailers understand that, hey, these parts can no longer just be muddied around with or changed. So just because we're doing a lot of work in the cloud doesn't mean we can't bring that, in, that data back to the authoring software to help us make better decisions. So yeah, it's a great way to help control stuff like that. Another thing, if a detailer does have to make some changes to parts, it works both ways. His world is in Revit where maybe the project management foreman and the rest of the teams are, are in Stratus here in the cloud. He can communicate to into the cloud when he's making changes by issuing tracking statuses here in Stratus also. So maybe he knows, hey, I've got to make changes to this package. Maybe there's an ASI, rough order of magnitude, some kind of um, change management directive that came down the pipe. And I've got to make changes to this. But you can create statuses, like for instance, one that's called change ordered, and you could assign this to the package. And we actually have the ability to like impregnate that color that's assigned to the package into the whole screen. So now when you open this thing up, it's nice and bright. So the other stakeholders who are maybe not so in tune with what the detailers are doing know, okay, I've got a team that's making changes to these items. When they're done, he'll update me and then we'll know. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick video on this. Some very simple ways that Stratus still want you to understand. We can still map that data back to your authoring software and we can help your detailers and other people understand what's capable of being changed without conversation or what items are going to need a further conversation uh, to make changes. So thanks for listening and hope this helps.